Welcome back to the Polish farm. We're over at Merrick's place. We brought his equipment back over for him. And uh, I threw my bicycle in the back of the uh, bale trailer there. So I'd have a means of getting back home. Uh, we did that hay baling contract over on that field that uh, Merrick hooked us up with. We ended up getting about 47 bales off of that field, giving us a total of 48 back at uh, our place, which uh, means we can get some cows. I'm gonna pop in here quick and uh, talk to Merrick, cause uh, he says that the uh, owner is gonna pay me in addition to allowing me to have the bales. So I'm gonna hop in here quick, talk with Merrick. Well, that was nice. We got nearly 5,000 euros in addition to 47 hay bales for working on that field. So that that is huge. We're swimming in the money. Well, maybe not, but we're certainly not hurting. Uh, that'll help us get the cows, I think. And uh, I don't know, maybe even some other things. So I'm going to hop on the bike, head back over to the house here. And I was talking to Merrick about the derelict tractor or, well, derelict tractor excuse me over at the landfill I can't speak uh, and he said really there's no reason uh, he did some check-in that uh, nobody's really laying claim to it that uh, I can just go pull it out of there and take it home uh, I might have some trouble trying to register it maybe later on making it completely legal at least roadworthy uh, but uh, he said he might could help me out with that as well so I'm gonna head over here and and take another look at it I'm not sure that this route is the best way to get anywhere uh, this, this road's got like a big s curve in it and it almost seems like you're traveling farther than you need to that maybe there's the the back way over by the church and maybe taking the the track between the fields would be a quicker way to get from point a to point b but uh we're gonna go over here and uh check that out if the audio sounds a little weird to you well i had to come back and overdub this because i had a uh, problem with the microphone but hopefully uh it comes out okay uh, so we'll just pull up here by the, uh, by the landfill here and take a look at our hopefully future project tractor here. I see that it doesn't have a, uh, registration plate on it. So I don't know, it might be a little bit of an issue, but, uh, I think we can get it out of here. It's, these rocks are going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I think, uh, we can probably figure it out. So yeah, I think uh, I think we're gonna have to move forward and drag that thing home. So we'll hop on the bike, get back to the place here, and get on down the hill. All right, arriving back at our place here on the left. Trying a little first person here on the bicycle. It's a little disconcerting. It gets going a little quick, but uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty neat. All right, we're going to park it right here, hop off. And yeah, we can... Uh, we need to do fertilizing, I think, on our field uh, as well. Ooh. And now that we got some money, you know, we could probably really get serious about this weed field next to us here. It'd be nice to be working two fields right on the uh, back, right outside the house here. And, yeah, this could use some fertilizer, so I think maybe... Uh, 
go up to the store, get some fertilizer. Been trying to decide, uh, kind of pondering between should I get uh, a pallet of fertilizer or maybe, I don't know. Or if I can... Uh, Just buy a couple of bags. So a whole pallet would be, I don't know, more money. Oh. I just realized something. There is something I need to get. the trailer. Put the back down on the trailer. There we go. <clears> How <throat> those straps? Oh. Oh. So I'm going to go the back way around because even pulling this trailer. Is difficult for the tractor. Just pulling the trailer puts weight on the back of it. So I'm gonna go this way around just to see how it pulls coming up these gentler slopes. I'll let you know how it goes when I get up to the store. I'll see you there. Okay, so we're up here at the store and oh, I'm just gonna put the fertilizer right in here. It's going in, right? Wow, it's a big bag. Oh, it's taking longer than I expected, though. There we go. That's one. This is the second bag. Looks like it's squirting out the other side when it hits the ground. It's funny. Okay, there we go. I bought four bags. Looked like it was a better deal. Um, I think. Um, uh, we got a couple extras. Just so we would have more. And then, I didn't want to buy these. I rented them. Uh, I think maybe this will help us get the, uh, get that tractor out of the landfill we can load it up on the trailer we can get a little bit of help all right so we need to get the fertilizer spreader on the back here let's strap this stuff down so it doesn't go anywhere hopefully so the 
fertilizer spreader should have a uh, hitch on it. I bought it because it was only like 750 euros, so that was a pretty good deal. I think the fertilizer bags are about 100 apiece. I don't know why I couldn't put more in there. We'll see how far it goes. Uh, and then renting the ramps was, uh, I think, 25 euros each. Coming up the other way, it really wasn't much better. And I was on this main road, and there's a rise on it I've really never noticed before coming this direction that you're really kind of impeding traffic on so I don't know if that's a good idea or not I'm wondering what you think the six times speed really blazes through the day sometimes I don't know stick with it for now. When we get back to the yard, I'll grab those bags of fertilizer and put them in the building off of there so we got room on the trailer. I'll show you the bales. I guess I didn't do that. Show you where we have the bales stacked. That took some time too. I'm going to have a tax to like that that's labor intensive and I'm off camera I will slow down the speed because it wouldn't take me a week to do that necessarily keep in mind that every day night cycle represents uh, 10 days out of the month for us running three day months at six times speed leave room, huh? Yeah, I'll pull up past it. There we go. Get the door open here. I'm not sure where I want to put them. Maybe I should put them on the other wall away from the seeds. So I pulled one of the ramps off. I did that. Both of them, actually. Oh, I'm flying. Let go of it. <laughs> oh, that was too weird. All right. Let's grab this one here and put it right there for now. That was frightening. <laughs> so we can straighten this out here. Okay, these ramps are kind of temperamental. Strap down and hold them in place. I forgot, I was going to show you the loft. If I can not fall off the ladder. There we go. So inside here we've got uh, one two, three, four rows of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's 28 on the lower part. 
plus another 14. And another one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty. So there's forty-eight bales there. And then our straw bales. So we should be able to get cows now. Alright, so I don't remember what the uh, width on this fertilizer spreader was. I think it might actually be 10 meters, which is kind of awful lot. Um, what is that deer over there? Oh wow. So let's see what happens here. Oh, it's got good spread width on it. It's taking the fertilizer state too. What I was afraid of happened there. Um, we're too slow going up the hill. I don't know if this is really that heavy, but... We're so slow going up the hill that or getting going, I guess. I don't want to waste some fertilizer. So I'm gonna try it downhill. That way I won't waste too much if I'm going too slow. I guess the working speed is 10. Maybe it really wasn't that big of a deal. But I hate to waste fertilizer. It's not cheap. I don't know where we... I'll try it. We'll give it a shot. Maybe. Let's give us a little more space to get a run up. There we go. Five, seven. Yeah. Because the PTO's engaged, it's, yeah. There we go. Not ideal, I don't think. But it's getting it done. And we'll be done here in a second. So we'll just keep at it. Um, come down here. I think that ought to be do it. Make sure we get all the way out. We'll have to come up. Get that last part. I wish it was like the cedar where it wouldn't put fertilizer down where it didn't necessarily need to. But it doesn't, doesn't work that way. Oh, got stopped in time before I hit the tree. Alright, come on, get up, get up, get up there. Get up, get up that hill. So we've already used 50, 50 liters, half a bag of fertilizer on the field there. There we go, that's one fertilizer state. good that we got that down when we start seeing some growth then we can try and put another one down 
I don't know if these tires on this tractor... Whoa! That dang hole. I don't know if these tires on this tractor are considered narrows or not. That we do have crop destruction on. Because we play realistic-ish Lee. <laughs> All right, got it out that time. here. All right, now I'd like to go get cows, but I know that you are probably getting about as anxious as I am about going and getting that tractor at the landfill. So we're going to go do that. while we still have some daylight. And maybe we'll think about getting some cows. So I'm gonna go the low road and climb the hill on the track. So I think it's a more direct route and won't take us quite as long to get there. traffic allows us to turn. I've been contemplating where best to park the trailer to get this in there. And I also might need some help. Get up, get up that hill. down there. Might need them to get it. Where'd it go? Jesus. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Futs around with this and uh, oh, come on when we make some progress I'll, I'll check in with you but this is I don't know this is pain right there maybe no don't like it don't like it Oh, I still got it. Whoa. Okay, I tell you, um, these ramps are really temperamental. <laughs> they want to fly up into the air and everything, but uh, we got the we got the tractor off the rocks and we got it rolling now. I think might have to try and uh, bring the trailer down over here and see if we can push it 
push it on down over here. So, um, we're going to move it over there. And then we're going to need to get some people to help us, I think. I'm going to continue futzing around with this. Um, we'll check back in with you when we're starting to make a little more progress on it. All right. Okay, I got the tractor pushed up over here. Uh, I'm going to move the ramps, and hopefully I won't fly away again. Um, I slowed down time a little bit as well just because I could end up spending the rest of the day just trying to do this, because it's hard. Ah, see what I mean? My depth perception's off a little bit. I don't know how many times I've gone flying off into the air uh, with these ramps in the last little bit, so. Anyway, I'm going to get the ramps in place here, and then I'm going to need some help from Merrick and some of his friends to get this up on there. Oh, I'm so close. But yet so far. Oh, I hope that does it. All right, so wait. <clears throat> excuse me. Wait for Merrick and some of his friends to get here, and we'll get this up there in a minute. All right, Merrick and his friends just left. Uh, it's on there. Uh, so let's put the ramps up. I think we can slip them underneath, hopefully. There we go. And then, uh, I want to go flying again. We'll get it back to the farm. Okay. One strap here should hold everything. I'll uh, make sure it goes nowhere. Can you believe it? We've got ourselves a project to work on. I think we'll just go down through this grass field. Hope that'll be okay. It's not moving around at all. Ooh. Well, there's a pond here. I am turned around down here. I'm not quite sure where I am. Come on, baby. I thought I could get to the road just going downhill, but downhill led right into the <laughs> waterway there. Oh, okay. Didn't realize that. Went through there. So, okay, the much anticipated project tractors on the way home I've been looking forward to this day I don't know if you've been looking forward to it as much as I have but 
something to do. I guess it'll get us through the winter, uh, keeping us busy when uh, there's not a whole lot of farming to be going on. We only do have the one field as well, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for contracts and whatnot. We're gonna try and put it in this first uh, first bay of the garage here. Get the ramps off of here without flying. You don't need to watch me fiddle with these ramps for the next hour, so we'll jump gut to where we're a little further along. It's not bad. Okay, I got the ramps down. Uh, get the door open. Let's see if we can get this rolled off of here. Okay, we got it off the trailer. So, uh, just just to get it pushed into the building here, and and then maybe we can worry about going and getting some cows. All right, so we've got our uh, project tractor in the garage. Uh, got it off to the side a little bit here near the workbench where we can get to it. And uh, yeah, so this is a, I think it's called a Vladimir T25 or Vladimir, something like that. I'm not, my Russian is not so good, but it's a Soviet tractor. And you know, pretty common in these parts. Pretty versatile little tractor. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to find parts for it. It's already 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I'm going to throw these ramps up here and get them ready to go back up to the store. Oh, geez. I'm looking forward to returning these. These things are just the bane of my existence right now. No, don't come off the back. Don't fly away either. There. <laughs> All right. I guess... Uh, We got. We want to go get some cows. Hmm. Didn't want to run there for a second. Got trouble with this thing again. Carburetor. All right. I think it's all right now. I'm gonna run up to the store turn these uh, loading ramps and then uh, well, it's 3.30 in the afternoon already going to try and get over to the animal dealer see if I can lease a uh, trailer from them and get some cows back over here at the dairy farm Man. I really need I don't think that T25 is going to have really any more power than this not much at least, so I don't know. Yeah, start saving some money for a tractor that can pull something on these hills, I tell you. 
shadows are getting long or what mid-october getting dark early hopefully we can get the cows back to the farm before it gets too dark I'll see you over at the animal dealer I think All right, so I'm arriving at the animal dealer. Uh, I went to the complete wrong part of the map. I was clear over by the sawmill on this map. Uh, I thought the animal dealer was over there where I had seen some cows in a pen, but it turns out that that's just actually somebody's farm. So this is the animal dealer here. Uh, I've slowed time down a little bit so it doesn't get dark on us because this is this is a task that should not take a, a lot of time. So I did slow down time to three times speed. Uh, we're going to have to make a couple of trips. We're going to get some cows and uh, take them back to the dairy farm. So let's get a couple loaded up here. Okay. So we've got two cows. I think we've got enough hay to feed four cows for a year, maybe. Um, at least that's my hope. I'm not sure which way to go back, but I'm gonna go this way. So the cows that we got are Polish Holstein Friesens. Uh, they're a, a mixed between the uh, Polish black and white and a Holstein cow. I was, I wanted to get brown Swiss. Uh, at least that's what I was thinking about doing. But apparently it's not a very popular breed in Poland. I guess maybe I should have done it to try to see if I can help popularize the breed a little more. Uh, but there's only about 300 Brown Swiss in the herd book in Poland. You know, cows that are properly registered with the authorities and so on. So what we bought was 12 month old cows, so they should be producing milk pretty much right away, and that's what we what we need. So that we can start uh, start the dairy operation. If we got calves, newborn calves, uh, it would be probably well, it'd be a year before they start producing any milk. And that would be at the rate we're going uh, with uh, one or two episodes. I don't know, let's just say uh, episode uh, covers one 24-hour day-night cycle. Uh, that would be uh, three-day months. Episode, that'd be 37 episodes away before we started uh, producing any milk, so we didn't want to do that. that would be too much. Oh, a logistical warning for you as well. Uh, I tried to... I think I gotta take one on the back. I thought I could put them in there, but I think I gotta do it back here. Oh, the logistical warning I was going to give you. I leased the uh, ramps. I can't seem to return them. Uh, 
Uh, so that's something I'm gonna have to figure out as well. Uh, where's the trigger at? Give me a minute. I was right the first time. Sorry. Okay, so back to the ramps. I leased them. I can't figure out how to return them. I can't click on them at all. So uh, they would have cost 500 euros each to rent or to buy. Uh, I rented them for 25 euros, I think. It's going to cost me, I think, 10 euros a day each forever now, <laughs> unless I can figure something out. Accidentally jump back in the tractor there. All right. That was not registering the trailer. What now? There we go. We'll just do it from here. Uh, sometimes these things is harder than it needs to be. So, all right, we got two cows in there. We're going to have to go get two more. I've got to throw some, a um, couple hay bales in there just to get them fed here. I might stuck on the ladder. Come on. There we go. Just throw a couple of these out real quick so they have some feed and uh, we'll grab a straw as well and then they should pro start producing manure right away yeah took it back to the uh, animal dealer and uh, get the other two. I'll see you when I uh, when I get back I suppose. Alright I'm arriving back at the farm with the uh, second pair of cows. We'll get them in the barn and then we'll take a look at getting some more bales down here for them. I could probably put every single bale I have in there and it still wouldn't be in the green. I'm not sure. Um, a little different in FS19 I played seasons mostly and in in season well it's not entirely true but after I originally started playing uh I think after I played on, what was it, Ravenport, I started playing Seasons on the next map I went to after that. Um, and your animals would go through your feed, I think, in, in two day-night cycles and seasons. They had a limited amount of how much food you could put in there 
so that you had to constantly kind of pay attention to them. Whereas in base game, you can kind of get away with... Uh, putting a bunch of food in there and not paying attention to them for a while. So this will be five hay bales and two straw bales. And I don't think it'll probably really tip us very much. I haven't been showing you a lot of the menus in this game because I'm trying to make it sort of roleplay-ishly. Uh, so it doesn't look so much like I'm playing a video game. Uh, but we will take a look here quick. I don't think I got that one far enough in to hit the trigger. There we go. Hey, Bill. There we go. All right, so we'll take a look at the animal menu here. Yeah, I'm a little scared on how it's going to go. I'm probably going to put more in there off camera. But uh, they're okay. I don't think we need waters, waters in the trough there. So they got... They got food, it should be producing manure. It hasn't been long enough for any to show up yet, but. Yeah. But okay, we've got the dairy farm up and operational again. So that's awesome. Well, I think we'll wrap this episode here. And, uh,. Tomorrow will be a new day here on the Polish farm. Come on, door. There we go. Got it closed. We'll see you next time.